So my big thing this week, what I did for myself was I ordered some shit for the kitchen because I love cooking, right? And uh, I think one of the great inventions of last century was the rubber spatula. I don't know. Are you guys like me? I, I, I fucking love a rubber spatula. It's just the things like so much stuff always ends up having a sauce or something like that. And just nothing gets it out of the bowl and into the pan or out of the pan and onto your plate like a fucking rubber spatula. They're just the shit. So I bought this little three pack thing. And um, because all we had, we had the one, but it was gigantic and it couldn't get into jars and shit like that. And it bothered me. So I bought these, these, you know, a small one, a medium sized one, and then one that was like sort of regular size with like a scoop. I've been using the hell out of those things. And I've been making a bunch of vegetarian shit. So I've been cutting up all these uh, vegetables and shit. And, uh, you know, which takes a long fucking time. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to get, I need to get one of those vegetable slicers that I see. It's called a mandolin, which I thought was like a guitar used in, like when, whenever like, Zeppelin would sing like their Dungeons and Dragons shit. Like John Paul Jones would always break out the mandolin, right? But it's also a vegetable slicer. So I get this thing. It has all these attachments. I did the research. I figured out. I think I told you guys I was so excited to get this thing, right? So I get it, right? And, uh, you know, I got some radishes and some carrots. So I, I just, you know, I read the whole fucking manual, which I never do. And I just, I was like, okay, so I know what each one of these, even though I don't know what Julianne, whatever cuts these are, but I just want to know what all of this shit is. And I'm reading all of this shit. And, uh, you know, so I cut up some radishes, I cut up the carrots, squeeze some lemon on them. It's fucking delicious. Nice, quick little snack, you know, gives you energy. You're not going to be a fat fuck. I'm loving this thing. But the radish has got all this red shit on it and stuff. So I, I'm rinsing it off in the, uh, in the sink. And then I just feel. <laughs> and my fucking finger really deep. And I read in the thing. Watch out. The blade is super sharp. Oh, my God. You guys, I got to tell you something, man. I was just like. It was one of, the, it was one of those pains. It like just takes your breath away. I did it. I just went like. <gasps> oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Ah shit! Doing that thing, so I grabbed a paper towel and I apply pressure. Right, I'm doing all this shit. I learned, you know, stop, drop, and roll. Keep it elevated. All of this shit, you know. Are you okay? Are you okay? The choking thing. I'm trying every first aid thing I know, and I'm just sitting there going, "This does not." That felt deeper than something I'm going to be able to put a band aid on. All right, so I lift the paper towel, and at this point, the part that I cut was stuck to, this is gross, was stuck to the paper towel, and it lifted up like a toupee that wasn't glued on right. And I was like, all right, that needs stitches. That's good. (laughs) So so I, uh, I call up my wife. And she's awesome. She takes me over to urgent care. And uh, I go over to urgent care and just fucking hilarious. They're like weighing me and shit. I'm like, why do you need to know this? Well, you've never been here before. I say, well, who says I'm coming back? You, you already shut down my insurance card. Now I got to fucking tell you how much I weigh. I don't want to know how much I weigh. I'm fucking cutting vegetables. My finger's bleeding because I don't like how much I weigh. I don't need you to fucking tell me this shit. So then I go in there. And then, how, many, how many times a week do you work out? It's like, how many fucking times a week do you work out? Just suture up my fucking finger and let me get out of here, right? So the nurse gets upset with me, and I'm like, all right, I'm being too much of a dick. So I answer questions. I just say, listen, I just don't like this shit because everybody fucking ends up sharing the information. She goes, we don't share the information. I go, you don't share the information. These people that run the hospital, are you going to tell me that these are good people? And she's like, yeah, Yeah, exactly. She's like, how many times you work out a week? I'm like, three. And then I'm like, you know what? This is going to fuck with my insurance that doesn't pay for anything. Doesn't pay for anything. I'll have a higher premium. I said, you know what? Say six. And I go, no, five sounds more believable. She was a hot shit. She put it in. So she was great. I was just in a uh, fucking, 
I was disappointed in myself. And then uh, the doctors came in, one doctor and then one, one that was training. And uh, like, hey, you got yourself pretty good. And they were just telling me all this. They, they said they got something over there. They call it avocado hand. And I go, what's that? He said, well, you know, people, they cut an avocado in half and then they want to get the seed out and they take a nice whack at it with the knife and they either miss it completely or it glances off the side and then whacks down onto their hand. And they got the mock of a squealer on the palm of their hand and they got to get that stitched up. It's just like, fuck. I go, I always do that. And the dude was just like, don't ever do that. And I go, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> so... Um, here's a question I have for people out there. Uh, have you ever been stabbed or have you ever been shot and have you ever, or have you ever had both of those things happen to you? Which one hurts more? Um, cause I got to tell you the, uh, there is something really creepy about, uh, I know this is, just block your ears if you're queasy. Just slicing into your body. There, there's, you know, there's paper cuts, there's cutting yourself, shaving. But then there's going deep enough where it's just like, I cannot stop this bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> then there's that, right? Um, I was just out of curiosity. Because when you get shot, it hurts so bad you can't even feel it. And you just go into shock. Or, you know, or does it hurt even fucking more? Does it feel like the literally you got hit by a cannon? I have no fucking idea, but, um, yeah, so that's what happened to me. So I got this fucking mandolin now. Now I'm afraid for anybody in the family to even use it, but uh, now, now I'm good. Um, I think I'm going to buy some of those old lady, like, rubber gloves when I wash it and then just rinse it off and make sure I never go anywhere near the blade and I have gloves on because I don't want to, I don't want to uh, do this again. But uh, the doctors were great. They stitched me right up and whatever fucking, um, whatever, whatever they used to numb me up with. I mean, they stitch it up around five thirty. I was done and I woke up at two in the morning and my finger was still numb. And then I got nervous going, oh, fuck, did they put the bandage on too tight and they cut off the blood supply and my fingers die? And I started freaking out. So at like two in the morning, I get up with my big stupid Fred Flintstone bandage on my finger, my finger. And I go into the bathroom and I took my nose hair clippers and I just cut up the side just to relieve it. And then uh, I went back to bed just to have it be a little more loose, right? And then I went back to bed at like, you know, whatever. It probably took me like five minutes to do that. And I woke up at like, I, don't, I think somewhere between four and five. And my finger was killing me. It was throbbing and all that. And I actually smiled. I was like, okay, good, good. I didn't kill my finger. It's getting a blow. Good. It should hurt. It should hurt. I fucking looked like I was cutting the cap off a fucking cigar. Um, so uh, anyway... I'm sure you guys all have some, let's, let's, I usually don't get into gross shit like this, but I'm sure people out there have mandolin, oh my God, I'm going to look it up right now. Mandolin injuries, do you dare? Here we go, mandolin, I'm probably not even spelling it right, injuries, me John Paul Jones with a broken nail. Okay, images, images. Oh, whoa, my God. Oh, my God. She, oh, my God. Yeah, people, oh, G Jesus. Wow, dude. Wow, wow. I did all right. <laughs> oh, fuck, I did all right. I just, I, I went halfway. I went halfway. These people cut their fucking tips of their fingers and thumbs off. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, my God. I literally just closed my fucking laptop. Um, let's get into something a little more nice, less, less fucking gross. 